Hello, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Thank you for hearing from me this evening. My name is Georgia Hollister Isman. I'm the State Director for Rhode Island Working Families, um, and I'm here tonight to testify um, in support of Senator Lynch Prada's uh, increase of the minimum wage to 1050, as well as the governor's, and also Senator Calkin's uh, bill to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Uh, you've heard a number of people say it. Our minimum wage currently is woefully insufficient. I think if we're all honest with ourselves in this room, we know that. We know we would have a hard time making it on less than $20,000 a year, much less if we had children to support. Um, and I think we ought to address that urgently and quickly as possible. That's why we support Senator Lynch Prada's bill to increase the minimum wage to 1050 by July 1st, or if that's too fast, then the governor's proposal to increase it to 1050 by October 1st, but soon. Uh, families are indeed suffering now. Uh, but we shouldn't be satisfied just with doing that. Uh, we should think about creating a long-term predictable increase in the minimum wage, which is exactly what Senator Calkin's bill uh, would do. It would increase the minimum wage by a dollar every year from now until 2022 till we get to $15 an hour, which is certainly much closer to an amount that at least a single person uh, could live on. This is a moment to be bold in terms of minimum wage increases. Across the country, cities and states are starting to pass bolder minimum wage increases. In the past year, seven states, Arizona, California, Colorado, Maine, New York, Oregon, and Washington have all approved minimum wage increases to between $12 and $15 an hour. Rhode Island should be part of that movement, and certainly we should not fall behind. Uh, it's a moment to be honest and straightforward about what our neighbors really need. Um, and if we're honest with ourselves, they, we could, would say they do not make enough for how hard they work. Uh, so I urge you to pass uh, a minimum wage increase soon, but I think we should think seriously about increasing the minimum wage slowly and predictably um, to $15 an hour. And I want to just share a few statistics about that, which I also um, – submitted as part of this written testimony from NELP, which has some good numbers in it. Um, and first, I would just say this is a big problem. One in three Rhode Island workers, one in three makes less than $15 an hour right now. That's 187,000 workers. Um, and they're not uh, all teenagers flipping burgers. Um, the typical uh, minimum, uh, typical employee making less than $15 an hour, the average age is 36. 33% are over 40, only 11% are teens. Most are women, disproportionately women, disproportionately African Americans, Latinos, Asian Americans. 50% of Latinos make less than $15 an hour, 48% of African Americans. 60% of people making less than $15 an hour are working full time. It's not just second jobs. It's not just um, people adding on to their income a little bit. 34% have some college education uh, or an associate's degree. So it's not just people at the very beginning of their careers who haven't done any training. Um, and 27% of those effective are parents, and those parents are raising 65,000 children. Um, so there are a lot of people out there trying to live on not enough. Uh, and it will take some time, and we ought to do it predictably, but I think we ought to think seriously about getting to $15 an hour. Um, and just, I would say there are benefits to this beyond uh, just the pure economic ones to families. There are benefits to the state budget. There's a study in here on page five about the taxpayers in Rhode Island saying, saving $97 million a year if the minimum wage went up to $15 an hour because of people would not need to rely on as many government services. Um, and they would pay more in taxes if they're making more money. Um, there are also tangible benefits in lots of ways to families of this kind of increase in the, in the basic income that they make. Um, the educational achievement of children improves the employment outlook of those children as adults, access to health care, access to mental health, uh, childhood health. All of those things are things that we could really improve um, by increasing the minimum wage and doing it in a way that is bold. Thank you.